Hi, uh, my name is Jaylee Lee, and I am a choreographer, dancer, um, artist in Moncton, New Brunswick. During COVID-19, um, I've actually been staying pretty creative. I once New Brunswick announced that we would be going into a state of emergency on March 19th. Um, I all of a sudden decided to resurrect an old project that I had. So two years ago, two summers ago, I traveled all across North America. And um, while I was doing that, I decided to document my travels by doing um, one minute daily dances, no matter where I was. Um, and I was always wanted to do something with that project, but didn't really know what to do. So when COVID-19 happened and we were going to have to stay in our houses, stay isolated for um, what looked like was probably going to be a few months. I decided let's resurrect this and instead of exploring the world as my oyster, let's explore the house as my oyster. Like can I, can I find as much creativity and inspiration within the walls and the, the um, boundaries of my house. I would, I'd post these um, daily one minute dance improvisations online and, um, and through that um, I had some different people ask me to make videos for different events um, happening. And uh, one of these was the St. John Contemporary Dance Festival, which was awesome. So I'm so excited to like continue making these dance films. It's kind of a new medium that I've kind of stumbled into. So it's, it's great. <laughs> I'm most inspired when I see other artists work and like, sometimes it's during another show where I get like all these ideas like, oh, wow. Ah! <laughs> um, but I, I find a lot of inspiration from other artists and it was interesting um, when I started putting these like dance videos online especially during the, the COVID ones um, the one minute dance improvs um, there's this lady in France um, her name is Nadia and uh, she has an Instagram account called one minute of dance a day through that I got to actually discover many other dance artists and they were um, a huge inspiration to like continuing my own creativity and I think we all kind of were inspired by each other like someone did did this with their perspective and that inspired me to do something else with my perspective and um, yeah so it was really interesting the community of dancers that I found on Instagram through doing these dances um, and I find that uh, in in real life as well sometimes if I feel kind of stagnant in my creativity in, in creating something for for the the stage um, I try and get myself to a dance show or to a, a theater show and it sparks that creativity again. Working in collaboration with other artists um, is also super inspiring because um, I, I worked with uh, Connection Dance Works on Subject is Too Dark with uh, Sarah Johnson Power and um, that was amazing like just to to be with other artists and to um be inspired by them and their work and how they see things and um yeah definitely other artists are a huge part of my inspiration so i've been working with um another dancer on this project her name is marie luce quevardo and um, she's a contemporary dancer from france she lives in memram cook now and um, chris leblanc um, he's our cameraman and editor and um, he's done his whole life in film. Um, and so it, this process has really been quite a collaborative project. I definitely uh, put more trust in Chris, who's the cameraman, to, to capture it. So I, I, I didn't watch the footage afterwards. So, so it was a little unnerving, like I'm so used to watching right away. And then if I need to do a retake, then do a retake. But um, yeah, no, it was, it, was, it was great being able to work in a team again. Um, but it's a, it's a very different process than um, putting something on stage, for sure. I do approach it slightly differently. It's like, okay, now I have to be a bit more conscious about, like, I have more time. How do I build something over a longer time? How does, like, repetition of a scene come into play? Like, it, I, in my head, I can structure it a bit more like what I would do um, on stage, but in the same vein that for um, this, film in particular, um, we also decided to do it improvised. So I put together this team and it's really great because I knew I could, this, this kind of what I wanted to do, this kind of sensitivity with nature and um, with listening to each other um, and improvising together, I knew that was right up um, Mary Lucy's alley. Um, it's kind of her, part of her forte. And um, so, um, and she's from Mum Cook, which is where we decided to film. Um, and Chris LeBlanc is also from Mum Cook, where we decided to film. I 
my daily dances, like my camera is fixed. And for this one, I would, I would really love for the camera to be moving. So I wanted someone that I could trust with the camera. Um, and I was thinking about Chris because we've been talking about doing something, um, a project together for a while. So um, yeah, so he um, really took the reins in terms of like the camera and, um, and, uh, and both of them um, really uh, helped me find all these uh, beautiful locations in Memram Cook. Um, so the, the collaborative process has been really great on this project. Uh, this summer, um, so I, what I'm doing is I'm combining those 100 videos from um, being at home in isolation with the, with the 100 videos from two years ago, exploring the outdoors and um, North America. Um, so I'm collaborating with um, a collective in Moncton, in Moncton called Collective Hat, H-A-T. Wow, um, which is a, a piece about um, my hair. I have very, very long hair. So, <laughs> so they're in locks and they're about um, four to five feet long. Um, so that piece, the vow, talks about um, my journey with my locks. And um, so that piece was supposed to premiere this May, but because of COVID-19, that was scrapped. So um, we decided to um, postpone it to next May in 2021. 